Now, the divine love progression, the progression in divine love is infinite. The progression in natural love finishes at the sixth year. In other words, a spirit or a person on earth who decides to progress using their intellect and becoming a God-like and believing their God and so forth, will finish up stagnating in their progression at the sixth year. Because this form of progress is about investigating or focusing on understanding creation. Intellectually, this form of progress, the divine life progress, is about understanding the Creator. You understand? Understanding Creator. This is how I often liken it to. You have a choice. The choice is you can investigate creation to your heart's in other words, you can investigate any area of creation you ever want and you can continue doing it now and when you pass, you can continue doing it even to a greater ability in the spirit world if you want. But there's an infinite amount of creation and if you want to find truth, you're going to be spending an infinite amount of time trying to find out an infinite amount of creation and doing experiments constantly. Does that make sense? That's what you're going to be doing. The other alternative is actually to understand the Creator, to actually connect with the Creator. And then the Creator tells you about creation. Do you follow me? It's a shortcut to the secrets of the universe. Right? You think about it, if you can connect to God, if there is a way to connect to God, and I know a lot of people on earth don't really believe there is. But if there is a way to connect to God, then God can tell you what's going on. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And if God can tell you what's going on, then surely that's going to be a lot faster method than you trying to do experiment after experiment after experiment after experiment trying to work out what's going on. Cancel all the book clubs. Yeah, that's right. Cancel all the book clubs. <laughs> Uh, there is a way to even do that. Yeah. You think of, if you think about it uh, from the point of view of a parent, when you have a child, you give the child by, the child has a few options to really, it, doesn't it? It can listen to you and learn quite rapidly. Or it can experiment itself and learn the hard way, right? We often call that what the school of hard knocks, right? You have the same choice. You can go through the school of hard knocks too, if that's what you want. Or you can learn the easy way, talk to your parent and find out how to do that. That's your choice. Every single soul in the universe has that choice to make. Does that make sense? Okay, so, so if like a child, you decided that you wanted to choose the school of hard knocks. Now, what happens when the child, let's say this is a stove, a right, hot stove, and you go, it's hot, hot, and you go through all the gestures saying that it's hot not to touch it, right? And the child decides to totally ignore you. What's the child going to do? Can we go up and put the hand on the fire, right? And be burnt? And what does it learn then? Exactly what you were saying. Does that make sense? Now you have that same choice. You can listen to your parent and choose to do that, or you can choose to actually experiment and find out yourself the hard way. You have exactly the same choice. And that's really what the two paths are about. So this path is about experimenting yourself, doing everything yourself. In fact, it's about, and I'll use this term, self-reliance. Make sense? That path is about self-reliance. This path is about what do you reckon? God reliance. Right? 
There's a big difference, isn't there, between the two guys. Now, almost every form of religious practice on the earth eventually is about self-reliance in somebody, even the ones who say they rely on God. Because what do they generally do? They make a heap of rules which were all man-based and then they try to make you stick by them. Isn't that self-reliance in the end? Most religions do that, don't they? All right. Very few focus on how to get connecting to God and actually feeling God and actually feeling whether God's telling you yes or no. 